Hi, my name is Frank Schaefer, and I'll be 72 in August. I've been around politics a long time. My dad was a leader in the religious right back in the 70s and 80s. His name was Francis Schaefer, and he used to stay in the White House with President Ford and knew him well, knew Ford when he pardoned Nixon. But after Watergate, there was not a Republican majority Supreme Court that backed up Nixon and said he was above the law. And so the rule of law prevailed. Now the Supreme Court has basically ruled that President Trump is above the law. They will delay all further trials that he might have until after the election. There's a good chance he'll be back in power again, empowered by the Republican majority he promoted to the Supreme Court to essentially call any action that he might take official, whether that's having a journalist arrested or ordering an assassination. Uh, and this is not just some theoretical problem. This is the beginning of the end of American democracy. We have a Supreme Court loaded with far-right Republican Christian nationalist activists. We have a president who has vowed revenge on his quote-unquote enemies, which includes all the free media, all the free press, all the bloggers, all the commentators who don't kowtow to him. And we have a court backing him up saying anything that is quote, an official action, he has immunity to do. I fear for this country. My son was a Marine who served in Afghanistan, served his country a country that we've always thought had the rule of law. My grandchildren are growing up here and I'm doing my best to set a course for them into a future that still has checks and balances. But as of today, the rule of law has been undermined by the Supreme Court. They are no longer a court. They are far-right Trump activists. And this is only the beginning. We can look forward to a future of far-right fascist tyranny in this country, aided and abetted by the court. It will strip all of us of our fundamental rights and back this cult leader dictator. Please wake up. Please don't vote for third party candidates or do the stupid things we did before Hillary Clinton lost to Trump. Play these far left democratic games as if we have the luxury of fooling around on ideological grounds. All hands on deck. This is it. My name is Frank Schaefer.